Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining us at the market site in Times Square, New York City, we have Bill Daig. He's the Vice President of Alternative Data over at Quandle. And we're going to focus on challenges facing data-driven investors. That's one of the themes that will be discussed at the Quandle Conference on January 23rd right here in New York City. Bill, it's great to have you back with us yeah, thanks for having me. on Trade Talks. And the overall theme this year for the Quandle Conference is Rise Above. Mm -hmm. Give us an overview and some of the topics you're going to be discussing. Sure, yeah. So the idea of Rise Above is really that uh, the alternative data space is maturing and uh, the, the approaches and the, and the technology stack required is maturing. And so it's, it's no longer about having, you know, one special data set that adds a lot of value. It's really about having a process for repeatedly and reliably integrating data into how I think about the world as an investor. And so we're really focusing in the conference on, on that theme of sort of maturing and hardening that whole process end to end. All right, now one of the themes you're gonna be focusing on specifically are challenges facing data-driven investing. It's not yeah. just one you know, person teams yeah. that are looking at these alternative data sets. It really is driving investment decisions, but of course there's a lot of challenges there. Yeah, absolutely. So we're gonna, we're gonna focus in on five key themes that we think are pretty common as firms sort of think about how do we scale up and, and sort of harden this process. So it's gonna be collect, um, resolve, enrich, interact, and distribute data. So collecting, essentially, how do I collect data at scale across lots of different sources and store that efficiently? How do I resolve um, what, what entities are in there? What companies uh, or am I talking about? Which you would think is sort of an, int uh, an easy problem, but it's actually, there are, there are quite of interesting challenges uh, in there. Um, and then enriching, so how do I tag um, in data to prepare it for analytics, uh, machine learning? How do I sort of combine other data sets into that to make it more useful? Um, interact, how do I promote data to sort of the investment professionals so that they can test uh, and iterate investment hypotheses more quickly and then distribute, you know, once I have this, this um, the, the product built, how do, I, how do I make that something that I can actually rely on? How do I make sure it's productionalized uh, and reliable for me to, to actually invest on? So uh, those are five, you know, challenges we think are quite common and we're really excited about um, the partners we're bringing in to talk about solutions. Yeah, I think it's interesting, the second point that you had made about the different um, types of data sets that you're looking to build, because I would imagine what you might think is an ESG company could be different than what someone else thinks, because it's very totally. arbitrary, right? Totally. So um, your final result could be very different than another firm that's looking at what they perceive to be an ESG yep. data set. For sure. So, um, or, or one of the solutions that uh, the industry is looking to overcome is setting uh, some standardization to, to that? Yeah, and I think we'll see that. I think we'll see that um, the way data is sort of treated um, and interpreted, I think we'll start to standardize a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I think where we're at now is everybody's sort of figuring out what, what that standardization you know, could look like. Okay. And so right now, there is, um, there's actually a bit of edge in thinking about you know, how do I interpret the data and in, in context. So I think that's sort of the next frontier of alternative data. It's not just having the data, it's interpreting mm -hmm. it in the right way and, and sort of figuring out what is this actually telling me and what can I rely on? Um, I think, you know, we, over time we will get there where there are a lot more standards. Yeah, because I mean, it certainly has evolved from retail analysts using satellite imagery, people walking in and out of stores. Yeah. It is much more complex um, and, and uh, complicated versus yeah. what it might have been even just three, four, five years ago. Absolutely. Yeah, we're definitely entering the realm of what I would call modern data, right, instead of alternative data. So. All right, Bill, thank you so much as always thank for joining you. us on Trade Talks. And thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.